Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put together a cheap and easy shadow box. Shadow box helps control the light, particularly for a still life, uh, by blocking out really ambient light. And then you're going to use a primary light source that you can you know, focus into the still life to get your desired effect. And you'll also have some nice shadows. So I pulled the box out of the trash, small one, it's gonna work, whatever. Didn't even bother painting the inside black, although painting it a matte black would help. Uh, I just don't have the ability to do that right now in my current living arrangement and lack of studio space. So I just got a piece of fabric in there, a dark green towel, and I'm going to put in a wine glass full of water, put my light source on it, and just start painting. I have it mounted on a laptop tripod, so it's a flat table on an adjustable stand. Do whatever works, try to get it more or less eye level. It will just make the painting come out better. So perhaps not the prettiest shadow box ever, but an effective one nonetheless. I went out and I just pulled out a small cardboard box from the trash that someone was throwing out to serve as my shadow box. Inside of it, I just picked a colorful fabric, in this case, a emerald green towel, and I threw in a wine glass full of water. That's ultimately what I'm gonna end up painting. I have my strong uh, Fresnel studio light here. It's got a very powerful halogen bulb. This is gonna become my light source. So what's happening here is I have Justice. So I have the flaps of the cardboard box pulled outwards and I have a little bit of packing tape up top to more or less hold it square. So that will create more of a shaded area because the shadow back box is trying to eliminate, you know, ambient light and you kind of want your dedicated light source to you know be the star of the show so although it's small it's functional you got deep shadow in the back even though this living room light is on and i have a lot of sunlight coming in through these windows that i can't do much about unless i get blackout curtains which i honestly not going to do let me move this so give you a little walk around. So I have that box on a, an adjustable, adjustable laptop tripod. So it's just a flat platform. I think about on like Amazon for about 40 bucks. So this is gonna work as my, you know, still life stand. So clearly that was a target box. So I got my Strata, Strata easel, my light, you already saw that comes on a very nice tripod. I can go almost up to the ceiling for sure. So probably in the lowest position I can have this set up. And I got this more or less eye level to where I'm sitting. So look at that, you get a very strong, powerful light effect and shadow. To make this even better, I would paint the inside of my box flat black like I had in my old studio, that was a large box, that's not gonna work here. I'm just eager to start painting again after two weeks off. So I'm not gonna worry that much about it. That fabric's pretty dark, it's gonna absorb some errant light. I'm not gonna split hairs, I'd rather start painting instead of fussing over all the, uh, the minute details. So that's pretty much it. Feel free to ask your questions, you don't have to use this fancy light this is just what was recommended to me, and I just went out and I spent about 350 bucks on that setup. But you can use anything. Just go grab like a, maybe like one of those uh, high candle lumen floodlights or something. Position it somehow to, to you know create a strong light effect on your subject matter. Just get it in an old cardboard box. Paint it black. Excuse me. Paint it black if you can. If not, you know. Just, just keep that in the back of your mind and start painting. 
you know, the bigger the box, the more you can cram in as far as your uh, subject matter goes for your composition. This box is in bad shape. It's kind of crushed and you know, the cardboard is a little wavy, but whatever. I'm just going to roll with it. But uh, we will revisit this. We'll do something better. Maybe I'll make something out of wood with some hinge flaps or something so we can open and close it, make it more versatile still. But again, this is the gist of a shadow box. This costs nothing for the box. I found it. Just grab some fabric, shirts, clothing, towels, whatever. Fabric is always good. And then pick something for your subject matter. Again, mine is just a wine glass full of water. And this is what I'm going to be working on next. For my painting. I'm getting ready for that. That will be... The next video, I just got to shoot some footage now and do that. But uh, yeah, again, ask your questions. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you do. Uh, if you got uh, any suggestions, drop them. I'm always looking to learn something new myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this, please subscribe, like, and share. I would appreciate it, and it definitely helps out the channel. Thank you, and have a great day.